Hi, this is Randy White with Keysight. I'm here showcasing next generation memory validation here at DesignCon. I'd like to show you a little bit more about this setup. We have, for the example of next generation memory, we're looking at LPDDR6, which is the next highest speed DRAM memory for mobile and edge AI applications. Our friends at Cadence have shared this demo board which is running at 14.6 gigabit per second speed. We're measuring the right clock WCK signal as well as the data signal, DQ. And this is coming into the UXR 33 gigahertz oscilloscope here. Now, before we get into the validation, I do want to point out that another part of the whole design process is simulation and pre-layout, pre-silicon uh, validation. One tool that is well utilized in the industry for LPDDR and other memory applications is the Keysight ADS Memory Designer. Now this has a lot of preset and built-in components and models that one could use to do different design scenarios. Here we have an example show, showcasing the LPDDR6 pathfinding setup that one might use to look at um, channel models, package models, as well as evaluating overall link performance. So once you move from simulation to validation with real hardware that you need to test, this is the setup that you might use in your labs. So let's go ahead and take a look at this, this setup. As I mentioned, we have the WCK clock signal and then we have DQ. So we're gonna look at the right transactions. On the oscilloscope, I've installed a special uh, tool. This is the LPDDR6 compliance application. And what this does is it performs all the measurements that are outlined and prescribed by JEDEC in the LPDDR6 specification. Some of the measurements that we might run include amplitude, timing, setup and hold, slew rate. Those are your basic AC parametric measurements. But the thing I really want to call your attention to today, a new requirement by JEDEC is to perform an IMAS test on the data signal using an extrapolated measurement. So this is exactly what we have here on screen now. This is the signal coming from the Cadence demo board running at 14.6 gigabit per second. We have a rectangular mass shown on screen and we have markers on screen also indicating that this is the position of the mass margin width based on the extrapolated requirement of 1e minus 16. So this is a typical setup that you might find for LPDDR6 as well as other next generation memory examples. Thank you for your time.